there are certain parts of it that apply to everybody. And, you know, just like in a, an ingredients list you need for baking, uh, you need to follow that list that somebody has prepared and made because if you don't, you're more than more likely going to end up with a probably not so stellar cookie, brownie, cake, whatever it is you want to bake. Um, and so that's why we have a, a running list of things that are needed for that, just like we do in our, with our Christian walk. So tonight I have chosen just four aspects of our Christianity uh, walk. Uh, Christian walk there that I feel like is very important to us. Of course, there are other aspects that you can find and see fit that would fit as well, but these are just the four that I wanted to touch on really quickly. Um, our first ingredient uh, for Christianity is love. And as we all know and see every day, the world just needs a lot of love, and there's not enough of it. Um, and so in John or in First John chapter four verses seven and eight it says, "Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And he who does not love does not know God, for God is love." So we don't have a lot of love going on uh, right now. If you look on any social media platform, you look on the news you look just if you just go to Walmart right now shopping is the worst thing to do right now I went to the town you know Saturday and I was like I don't even want to be here because everyone's just in a bad mood and they're rushing around and they're doing everything and I'm just like I just want to be at home um, but really you know we should go about our daily life just loving each other loving each other for you know for them you know there's a lot of uh, you know Christians get a lot of flack because you know people see if we don't agree with something that you know a part of life that you're doing it's automatically assumed that we we hate them now, that's not the case we don't hate anybody we should never hate anybody we love everyone we just don't like that you are not walking the the path that needs to be walked because once again it, it's laid out here for us and so uh our job is never to hate anybody is never to you know wish ill on anybody our job is strictly to love each other love one another and be there for each other so the second ingredient I have is prayer. Uh, in James chapter 5, verse 16, it says, Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Prayer is the most important thing that you can do when it comes to your relationship with God um, because that is our way of communicating with Him. Um, I can go ahead and tell you that I don't do enough praying. Uh, I think anybody you ever ask, you know, if you were to ask them, hey, do you think you do enough praying? Everyone probably should just say no because really we should always be in a constant state of prayer towards him. Um, of course, you know, we know about the, the tornadoes that, that roll through, you know, Tennessee and Kentucky, Arkansas and all them. And, uh, you know, of course, we're praying for them. But I saw a video the other day and it said and this guy was uh, living, I believe, in Kentucky there. And, of course, he had just lost everything. Um, but he said in that video, he said that I, for, I have not prayed to God in the past 40 years. But tonight I prayed that he would keep our family safe. And he was safe. They lost everything, but he was safe. Now, is he going to pray anymore after that night? I don't know. But the fact is, he prayed in that moment because he knew that he needed God. He knew that he needed God to be with him. And he asked for that. And God provided that and so that's what we have to do is we have to pray to God and not just to pray because we want things because we want to be safe but to pray to him just to to keep that that good relationship with him so uh, and of course the third uh, ingredient I have for our Christian walk there is to preach or teach um, so in Mark chapter 16 verses 15 it says and he said to them he being Jesus said Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Our job is to preach the gospel, not preach what we want to do, not preach what we believe, but to preach what the Bible says. You know, we, you see that a lot uh, with people, and, and you know, I've heard the phrase before, I have my own relationship with God, and that own relationship may not be built around what is being taught in the Bible. Um, 
our job is to, whether we agree with it or not, our job is to go abide by it, abide by by those rules, and then preach them to others, that way we can lead others uh, on our Christian walk here. And then our final uh, ingredient uh, for our Christian walk is to trust. And it, I chose my favorite verse, um, and it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Um, trust is one of the hardest things uh, we as Christians, we as just humans in general, have a hard time doing. Um, because that is allowing us to put our full faith into somebody, somebody or something else. And right now our job is to trust in the Lord with all our heart without you know, saying, well, are you sure, you know, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. It's not a matter about what we agree with. It matters that you know, God is going to provide for us if we allow him to, to, to be in control. You know, I like being in control. Um, I like driving. As much as I say that I hate driving, I like driving because I like to be the one who's in charge. You know, my wife uses cruise control all the time, and uh, I don't trust cruise control of, because I like to be the one in charge. Uh, so I like to put their trust in my own hands. Um, and we can't put our, our walk, our Christian walk, on cruise control. We have to be, uh, you know, well, actually, we really should be putting it in cruise control, but really, the cruise control is, is God. He is in control, and we just have to sit back and let him uh, guide us while also, you know, you know, being aware of what we're doing on our walk there. So, um, and then actually, sorry, I, I said I had four uh, things. I actually had five. And so our last uh, and final ingredient, I promise it's our last one, um, is to study, and it's in Psalms 119, 105, which says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So if we do not study, uh, we are going in complete darkness. Um, you know, it's like I tell some of my, my students, you know, I don't actually teach a, a class with tests and stuff. You know, I teach PE and I coach. Um, but, you know, I tell my kids that, you know, if you don't do the work to prepare and you're going blind, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to not do well. Um, you know, we've, we're knee-deep in our season here. We have about 10 games in. Um, you know, but I told them at the beginning of the season, you know, if we don't know our plays, if we don't know the things that we're doing, and we just try to go out there, we have no, we have no guidance, then we're, not, we're setting ourselves up for, for failure. You know, um, you know, they say with it, you know, the lesson is failure to prepare is preparing to fail. You know, so if, if we're not going to take uh, the word and use that as our guide, then we are setting ourselves up for a walk of darkness and a walk of failure because this is everything we have laid out for us. So, um, so you know, going back in to love, pray, preach, trust, and study. You know, and of course, there are so many other parts of our Christian walk that we can do that will help us be better for us, be better for our fellow man or brother, sister, uh, aunt, uncle, neighbor. Uh, you know, our job is to, to put all of these together because they help everybody uh, and they help our Christian walk. So uh, tonight, if, you're, uh, if you are in search of an ingredients list, if you are in search of uh, something that you need to uh, pin together because maybe you lack a little bit of trust, Maybe you lack a little bit of prayer. You know, maybe you lack a little bit of love. Uh, you know, now is a, t a time that we can come together to be with our fellow Christians. And, to, you know, if you need anything, any of these things, help in any of these aspects, uh, we're always there to help you. Uh, or if, if we're not, we'll find somebody who will because, you know, our job is to, is to help each other, to work with each other. And so if you need anything, whether it's, it's a prayer, it's a hug, it's you know, maybe just, just a little bit of encouragement, uh, we ask that you come right now as together we stand and sing.